Hello everyone, and welcome to my next Let's Play, which is going to be The Great Escape, a fantastic PS2 game. Uh, 2003, I think it came out, and boy, did I play this a lot. I never beat it, though. I never beat it. I remember it being quite difficult, so that's what I'm going to try and uh, rectify. Now that I'm 30 years old, I'm going to come back to this game, and we're going to play it, and we're going to beat it. And I'm also going to hum the shit out of this tune. My god. Now, it's probably pretty quiet for you chaps. For some reason, the main menu and some of the opening cutscenes are really quiet. I've, uh, I'm emulating this, so please do bear in mind that there might be some glitches and uh, bugs, but we're gonna play it, we're gonna beat it, and we're gonna enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's jump straight in. New game. Now, I... I'm almost tempted to put it on easy because I do remember this game being difficult, but maybe it's just because, you know, I was I was young. I was like 12 when I played this, so maybe now I'm, you know, in my in my twilight years, I'll I'll do better. So medium it is. Here we go. Let's watch the intro. Oh, the graphics. Oh. For years, the Reich has been forced to spend an enormous amount of manpower and equipment hunting down escaping prisoners of war. At least it's rather nice to know you're wanted, isn't it? For us, it is not a matter for levity. There will be no escapes from this camp. It is the sworn duty of all officers to try to escape. If they can't, it is their sworn duty to cause the enemy to use an inordinate number of troops to guard them. The men under your authority have been most successful at this. This man, MacDonald, caught in Zenua, escaped, recaptured, escaped, recaptured, or Flight Lieutenant Sedgwick, four escapes. Squadron leader Roger Bartlett, 11 escape attempts. Hendley, the American, five. He even tried to jump out of the truck coming here. The list is almost endless. One man here. Captain Virgil Hills has made 17 attempted Steve escapes McQueen. and so on. This is close to insanity and it must stop. Quiet. Do you expect officers to forget their duty? No. It is precisely because we expect the opposite that we have brought you here. This is a new camp. We have in effect put all of our rotten eggs in one basket and we intend to watch this basket carefully. Give up your foolish escape attempts and with a little intelligent cooperation we can all sit out the war as comfortably as possible. Well, well, the goons think they have it all figured out, hmm? Bringing all the troublesome SKPs into one camp must have seemed like a good way to control the problem. Or not. You see, we have a plan. An escape plan, that is, and an outstanding group of gentlemen to carry it out. The first officer is a Scottish chap called MacDonald, a good sort, RAF pilot, a good leader of men gets on well with the lads here, I think he'll be valuable to us. Especially when you consider his bravado when that bombing raid got into a spot of bother over Germany. Oh, he's been spotted! Oh, no! Poor MacDonald. Yeah, for some reason the audio is all over the place, volume-wise, but, um... Oh, this is bringing back memories, man. Already. Also, there's no subtitles, so I'm sorry. Again, it's uh, it's an old game. For some reason, yeah, we didn't we didn't have subtitles. That was loud. It was like Dunkirk loud. Then again, I imagine it was loud in real life. Oh shit! We've taken damage! I'm going to check it out! Did you just say he's going to check it out? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, that scream! Sir, Jones is dead, and there are fires breaking out all over the aircraft! Oh no! Here's your pulse ward! I'll attend to it! Right, Sir, so yeah, you are actually timed here. Spreading. I've done some tests, and I've actually failed at this part already. Because <laughs> it's, it's not very forgiving as a first mission. Pretty short though, but yeah, we gotta put out the fires. There we go. They reused the same scream! We've lost the tail and we're under attack. I'm not gonna be able to fight them off alone. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. Where where are the enemy planes? Oh there we go. Right, so yeah, just gotta shoot a few of these down. Good shot, sir. 
Yes, two for two. Ah, oh, I missed one. Shit. We've taken a hit. What happens if you shoot them? <laughs> Sorry, it's my first day. I mean, I don't know. It's probably not his first day. It's my first day. What do we do? Let's not panic just yet. I, I mean, all jokes aside, this would be terrifying. I would be shit scared right now. Oh, how we got? How did I get that one? We've been hit. Oh, I do, I do remember this intro though, being uh, pretty, pretty difficult as a kid. I don't know why. There we go. The Jerry's are retreating. Good show, everyone. Good show. The back has started again. Uh oh. Sir, we're losing the port engine. Should we abandon aircraft? Yes. Prepare to abandon aircraft. Yeah, we got it. We got to move. Have you destroyed the code box, sir? I will do that right now. I will set it to blaze. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. We don't have much time. This is where I failed last time. There we go. We got the parachute. We're good. We've been hit. Yeah, if you don't get the parachute in time, you actually just fail the mission. Christ, to think people actually did this. It's insane. Uh-oh, he was waiting for us. So it looks a little bit chilly. Welcome to Dulac Luft 10, Herr MacDonald. The rules here are simple. It is forbidden to be outside your hut during the night. Violation of this rule will result in your suppression and arrest. Carrying a weapon, attacking a guard, or stepping into the warning wire is both forbidden and fatal. Violation will result in you being shot. The senior British officer here is Group Captain John Rose. He has been authorized by myself to inform you of any other pertinent information. That is all. Okay, thank you, heavy German accent. Right. Winter Breakout, McDonald, Dulagluft. Uh, 10 Northwest Germany, October 4th, 1940. So, um, we'll get this little intro out of the way, and then I will probably just wax lyrical about how much I loved watching The Great Escape as a kid. I watched it way too much. I was obsessed with Prisoner of War stuff. And here we are. We are in control. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly just change my emulation method here so it might look a little bit better. Okay, I think that should look a little bit sharper. The only reason I, I did that is because the intro was very glitchy uh, if I was to play it in this mode. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, this is our new home. And we're playing as McDonald. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Working on some paperwork? Oh, this guy's sleeping. Freaking bunk beds. Oh. Maybe, maybe that's why I really liked this kind of thing as a kid, because it felt like one big sleepover. <laughs> Which obviously was not the case. It sucked. But hey-ho, that's... maybe... maybe that's why. Right, who we... who have we got to talk to? That's a scary picture. The blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. Where, uh, where are we going? Oh! Hello, I'm John Rose, the senior British officer. You must be McDonald. Where did the Jerry's bag you? We were over Berlin. The flak was so dense you could almost walk on it. We were hit very hard. Oh my god, their eyelids. Terribly bad show, old chap. Luckily, we have a good escape organization here, so you won't have to stay long. This is for you, smuggled in from Blighty in a parcel. It's a compass. The needle indicates where your next objective is. Oh, jolly Use good. Use it to locate and speak to the camp's big X. He's coordinating all of the camp escape activity. Our big X here is George Alexander in Hut 2. Look out for the guards when you go outside the hut. Thanks very much. Hut 2 was that? Hut 2? Now this guy, he's no James Temple Smithson. 
I'm sorry uh, if you don't know what I'm referencing. Watch my Prisoner of War Let's Play, which is another PS2 game that I loved dearly. Uh, that was World War II, obviously Prisoner of War camp stuff. Please watch that game, it's incredible. Uh, and actually, because I did that game, so many people have asked me to do this one. So that's why I'm doing it. And also, I, I just, I need to finish this game. I never beat it as a kid. And that's always bugged me. Uh, I don't even remember how far I got, to be honest. And I'm I'm probably not going to remember too much about the game in general, because it has been so long. Just like I don't remember much about the movie either, even though I watched it so much as a kid. I was, I was absolutely obsessed with Prisoner of War stuff. I don't know if any of you guys can relate. Um, right. Now, we're not allowed to be outside at night time. I need to know the controls. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Was that a torch or was that a searchlight? Okay, now, this does feel a little bit weird. I gotta say, the camera... The camera's a little bit strange. Also, isn't there a, a way of peeking around stuff? Yeah, that, that kind of helps. Okay. Apparently we can use it to peek through doors. Let me, uh... I don't know which door I want to go out of here. I, I feel like I'm about to get spotted instantly. So, um, just, just to save me some time, chaps, I'm going to be uh, saving the shit out of, out of my, my states. Shadows are useful as they hide you from the view of the guards. Uh, okay, so is it like a splinter cell thing? I do not remember. All right, we got it. We got to get inside hut hut two, because we're at McDonald and he's Scottish. Oh, I think I just saw a guard. Not watchtowers. Not allowed to cross over that line, by the way. So what happened to that guy in the film when he tried to climb the fence? Didn't end well for him. Spoilers. Oh, this, yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. I can already tell this is going to be a fail-filled playthrough, my god. Right, which is hut two? Is this hut two? Okay, we're safe. Hopefully, the guards don't come in here and be like, Oi, what are you doing in hut two? You're in hut one. Can I, uh... Can I talk to any of you guys? I can't even get in the bloody room. Aw, what are you reading? Can't talk to anyone. That kind of sucks. Oh. I picked up a bottle. Okay, press and hold triangle. Uh, Select an item, use up and down. Oh, that's our inventory. Bottles can be thrown to distract goons. Goons. They can also be smashed over goons' head. Oh, really? Wow. Because uh, comparing this to the Prisoner of War game, it uh, that was very much a non-violent uh, game. Like you couldn't really do anything; it was mostly just pure stealth and uh, and espionage. But this one, I I really don't remember if it's more action-packed. I think it is at certain points. Excuse me, I'm looking for the big X. Well, you found him. I'm George Alexander, the big X here in Dulag Luft Ten. I bet you're eager to escape. Yes, I am. What do we need to do? Those First, eyelids look awful. Pass. Jimmy here will help you. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. So, uh, yeah, if you've not seen the Great Escape film, you probably won't know what's uh, who all these people are or what they're going to be doing. But yeah, it's uh, he heavily influenced by the by the movie, of course. I'm I'm surprised that this came out actually, because I, I don't know back back then in the mid. In the PS2 era, they, they made a bunch of games based on really old movies. You know, like the Scarface game. Uh, they did From Russia With Love. And freaking real Sean Connery voiced Bond in it. It's, it's mad. Hello, Mac. I'm Jimmy James, the Camp Forger. In order to escape, you'll need a German pass. Now, I can make you one, but I'll need a sample from the goons. I need to check the size of the Eagle Insignia. If you could borrow one from the guard hut, that would be splendid. Splendid. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. 
Apologies to any Scots watching. I, I will mimic the accent. It will be terrible. You will hate me. And I'm not sorry. Oh, is that a bit of soup? I'm a little bit peckish. It's bloody cold out there as well, so that would, that would do nicely. Right. Uh, it's telling me to go this way. We need to get a pass. A German pass. I'm just going to go straight into hut 3 because I think I'll be safe in here. That's a suspicious looking box. Hello. Oh, I can talk to you. I'm Piotr Krotopkin, the tunneler. I will need your help later. Come back then. Oh, dude, nice. I'm guessing that's where the tunnel <laughs> the tunnel is. Oh, I can move this. Oh. I probably shouldn't do this. Is he going to yell at me? Oh, well, yeah, there, there, there's that's there's a tunnel right there. Oh sh <laughs> shit. I took damage. Can I just can I just say screw this? I'm just going. See you later. Oh no, it's blocked. Okay. Now I'm very claustrophobic in real life, and uh, a character in the movie is also incredibly claustroph uh, claustrophobic. In fact, wasn't it? Um, who was it? it? Wasn't Charles Bronson? Was it? I don't know. Anyway, again, it's been so long since I've watched it, but uh, I would not do well with tunnels. No way. No, no, sir. I will put this back so that the Jerrys don't see it. Uh, also, we do have a very nice bomber jacket. I wonder how the war's really going. Oh. So, How's you mean the there's... Going? Have you tried using a wooden horse? A what? You've got to jam a spanner in the works of this whole system. Good show, old chap. Good show, old chap. <laughs> so British. So British. Right, where are we going? Oh, you know what, actually? I do want to try the... Uh... Trying to close the door. There we go. I'm trying to do the look through the keyhole thing. Aha! <clears throat> oh shit, it's a good job I did. So yeah, this game, from what I remember, is structured in kind of levels where you play as one person and then you swap over to one of the other people involved. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go out that door. Can I go out a different door? My mother always says, don't mistake being out of the cage for being uh, this look actually that looks really Oh then again, I don't think the searchlight's coming over here. So I need to get I need to get in that building, don't I? And I'm not gonna be able to climb the fence. I'd love some bully beef stew. Oh no, it does come over here. Oh, I'm so gonna get spotted. What are they talking about? Yeah, I'm, I think this door is probably the better option. Right, I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Come on, McDonald. Yeah, there's, there's graphical glitches. There's not much I can do about that. Oh, we are in. The guard in the hut is probably sleeping. It'd be a, uh, okay. So go slowly. Go very slowly. Da na da na 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 na. He doesn't look asleep. I'm guessing he can't see me. No peripheral vision. Oh, oh dear. Uh, the goons dis uh, discovered this pass missing. All hell will break loose. Well, hopefully they won't realize it's missing then. There we go. Oh shit, we got time limits. That's why this game's difficult. I remember now. Don't see me. Don't see me. Is he supposed to be asleep? He does not look asleep. Right, we need to... Be pretty sharp. I have no idea how good the guard's vision is. What? Oh, so he did see me then. Uh, so I'm just going to dodge and weave through here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Here you go. Here's the pass. Let's see that pass. Mm. Be quick about Small it. eagle insignia. Good. Hey, you'd better get this back to where you got it as soon as possible. I will. Do we do we have it now? Have I got it? Can I go back? I guess so. Right. We 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 got we got this. We got this. You actually do have a lot of time. 
And uh, it's a good job we do have a lot of time because we have to wait for this chap to be done with his patrol. Oh, crap. There is a lot more guards around. Why are there so many guards? Where did they all come from? Dude. How am I supposed to get it back there now? There's a million of them. I mean, there's three, but there might as well be a million. Oh, and they've got pistols. That's not fair. I know this is a timed objective. I can't just fucking run out there. I'll get seen. But again, I have no idea how good their vision is. Right. Um, again, we're, we're gonna we're gonna save state the shit out of this. Open the door. Oh my fucking god. Did he not see me? <laughs> How did he not see me? Huh? Didn't see anything. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, he slapped me. Calm down, lads. I'll come quietly. <laughs> Calm down. That wasn't Scottish. Oh, uh, load. Wait, load game. Was I supposed to have saved? I mean, I did save, but I cheated. So this music's lovely. You've got again; it's very quiet. I need to. I need to watch this film again. Right. So there must be a manual save button. In fact, there is. Okay, let's use that. Let's try and do this semi-legitimately. Cause this is gonna be difficult. This is the this is the first like proper mission. And there's this many guards. It's like it's redonkulous. He's gonna see me. Or is it because I'm crouch Oh fuck he did see me! Damn dude! Can I can I evade them? Can I evade them? I mean, they know I'm out here now. I'm kind of fucked. Have they lost me? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if they follow the, foot, the footprints, actually. Are they as good as MGS1 guards? Wow. This is going to be tough. This is going to be so tough. But, I mean, you, a lot of you chaps wanted to see this game. And, funnily enough, there's not that many uh, playthroughs of this on YouTube, so... Uh, please do share this video if you if you're enjoying it. I don't know how you could be though. This is this is pretty abysmal performance. I'm just seeing where this loads me here. Okay, it's exactly where I saved. Oh, that's good. Okay, I don't feel quite as bad about save Satan. You didn't see nothing, buddy. Oh God, oh God. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, he fucking saw. I mean, he probably heard me. This is gonna be tough. How the bloody? If why the why are there so many guards? Like shit. Seriously. I'm thinking maybe the other door is probably a better shout. Maybe it is a better shout this time. But I mean, they can't expect you to wait around forever because we'll totally get uh, run out of time. So stop that whistling. You're not whistling the main the main tune, so it's it's not allowed. Oh, and you come round here too. Cold it's. Oh, I love cold it's. That was a great series, by the way. Uh, yeah, you said that. They shot my damn Spitfire down over the channel. Where the f how the bloody hell are you supposed to do this? This is why, friends, I didn't get very far in this game. I definitely beat this bit, though. <laughs> There's no way I didn't get further than this. I mean, I'm trying to stay in the shadows. Maybe if I just chill out a little bit. The camera is not great. I probably could have gone then, you know. I think I'm in trouble here. Huh? Oh, fuck! God damn it. <laughs> this is just fail after fail after fail. Alright, as soon as he goes, right, boom. Don't see me. What? You didn't see shit. Right, wait for him to go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. This other dude's coming. Go away. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, for fuck's sake! How am I supposed to get through here without being seen? This might be the shortest let's play you've ever watched, chaps. I have no idea how you're supposed to do this without being seen. There's nowhere to hide. There's a big bloody light there. There's a search tower. There's 50 guards. 
He's seen me. Oh, for fuck's sake. The problem is, you, do, you move slower than molasses. Maybe I, maybe I can't afford to just run a little bit more. Let's let's see. Let's see. This is just we're just figuring out the limits of the game, okay? We're just figuring out what it what we can do, what we can't do. He's going that way. All right, good. Did he seriously just Must be seeing Oh. Oh. Yes, you were seeing things, sir. It was a ghost. I really hope you're not going to be able to see me here, even though you totally should be able to. I guess I'm in shadow. I hope no one follows those very obvious footprints in the snow. Right. I'm I'm going to be super cheap here and just just. I mean, the game will let me save, so it's it's really it's just saving time. Right. Ah, oh, fuck! I've gone the wrong time. Must be seeing things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Boom. Right, new objective. Get back. Get, get back to where we need to be. Safe and sound in our hut. Like good little boys. Oh, you know what? I just realized I could have probably thrown a bottle. I have a bottle on me. I don't know how to throw it though, actually. Didn't see anything, I'm just a trough. What are you doing? Ah oh, fuck. Arthur! Uh can you just take me back to my hut? And up Damn. So close yet so far. I mean uh yeah, kinda of, probably not allowed that. <laughs> God damn it. Right. How do I throw a bottle? What is it? Oh like that. How did that dude not wake up? How did that dude not wake up? Oh shit. It is nothing. It is nothing. Damn right it's nothing. Okay, so at least I know how to throw a bottle now. So let me... Let me see. <laughs> this sneaking is so slow. Right, he's going to be coming round any second now. Oh, there's just so many of them! Aren't you guys cold? Why don't you just go to bed? I probably could have made it there, actually. But no, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna make a beeline for those things I was just hiding behind. We should be good. You, just, you go over there, right. Go! No. What are you doing? Oh, fuck off! How did they sit? They have really good eyesight. They have really good eyesight. Oh my lord, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the German quarters. What am I gonna do? I can't believe it's gonna be a whole video on just this first bit of the mission. Use the punch with care as they'll make the guards more trigger happy. Yeah, but how do I... Th I thought that was how I threw the bottle. Huh? Oh, well, that didn't... That didn't help! <laughs> oh my god, I suck. Right, we just need to go at the right time. We just need to go at the right time. Why is my controller vibrating like mad? Why is my controller vibr... Okay, it stopped. That was weird. Why is it vibrating again? It's absolutely going apeshit. Don't turn around. Alright, well, we're in shadows. We're in shadows, so we're good. Okay. Okay. I just need to use the shadows more often. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Right, I'm in the shadows. Can see me. My controller's vibrating like crazy. What's going on? Are we about to have like explosive diarrhea or something? 
Uh oh. What are you doing? Ah, oh, fuck! I was so close. I was so close. God damn it. I did. I waited too long. The other guy had come back around again. I don't know why my controller's is. I'm gonna have to turn the vibration off. It's driving me mad. Can I please turn that off? Uh, vibration off. Okay. Okay. I think it. Okay, it stopped. No, it's back on. It did nothing. The, the emulator does what it wants. The emulator does what it wants. Wait, I said that to off. Oh, I have to accept it. Oh, there we go. Right. You're going that way. Hurry the fuck up, McDonald. Stay in the shadows. Stay in the shadows. He's not questioning why that door's open. That's good. Alright, we go over here. Go over here. And now we're good. And now we just wait and hopefully no one sees us. I hope. I'm saving the crap out of it. Don't see me. Don't see me. He didn't see me. Alright, shadows are our friends. One hundred and a billion percent. Oh, that dude's coming back now. It's like I have the narrowest window of opportunity. Come on, you slow-ass walking shit. Can you please be done with your patrols? Guys. It's past your bedtime. Oh, everyone's hanging out now. Might as well just make it a fucking party. Who who brought the the, the bratwurst or, or or the the schnitzel or whatever? Right, I'm going. I'm going. I am safe. I am safe. Suck it, suck it, you German guards. I am a pro stealther. I am like a bomber jacket. Ninja. And now I just need to get back to my hut. Da da. Or back here, maybe. Keep at it, Mac. Thanks. Ah, glad you're here. Piotr could do with a hand with the tunnel. Oh, the tunnel. Oh, that was in that was in the hut that I was just in, right? That was in hut three. Oh, I nearly went for it. I nearly went for it. You go away. That's it. Good man. Good man. I need your help. I need a shovel. I broke the other one. The goons were clearing snow by the second gate. Try looking there. Oh, I'll be done in the tunnel when you're done. For fuck's sake. Do I have to do everything in this camp? You need a shovel? By the second gate, let me guess, it's all the way out in the open. There's a billion guards patrolling it. Oh my god. This is this is gonna be uh this is gonna be fun. It's telling me to go that way. It's escape or nothing for me. Oh, it's it's right where the searchlight's gonna be, isn't it? Fucking hell. Do -do -do -do. Where the hell's this gate? There's one okay, there's one gate. Where's the other one? Something to go this way. Oh there's the shovel. Yoink. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. It is nothing. It is nothing. Throw the bottle. Throw the bottle. Huh? Huh? <laughs> See you later, sucker. We did it. We did it. First try. Where's he gone? Oh, is he down in the tunnel? He's probably down in the tunnel. Right. I got your shovel. 
actually use the ladder this time. It's very dark down here. There he is. I need more wood to finish the tunnel. I can't help you with that, pal. In the woodshed outside. Oh. Take this key that I stole from the goons last week. Oh, he meant that kind of wood. Oh, right. I misunderstood. Ah, uh, why doesn't? He... Oh my god. Just, just give me a fucking list Crap. at this point. Someone's All right. Coming. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. Just, yeah, just stand there and fucking do nothing, matey. This hut is going to be searched. Ah oh, shit. Cooperate. Everybody must remain where they are. I ain't moving. Oh, dude, I don't know your name. I forget. Discount James Temple Smithson. We're in trouble. Don't look suspicious. We're just we're just chilling, right? We were just uh, we were playing a game of uh, uh, slap the towel. <coughs> it was all the craze back in 1940. Hello. Please don't search that very suspicious looking box. Also, please don't get stuck. Thank you. Oh my god. No, leave. You've searched the bloody place now. What are you doing? What are you <laughs> All right, are they done? Are they good? Where are all the guards coming from? That was a close one. Have they left? Can I move now? Am I good? I'm, just, I'm saving. I don't care. <coughs> nope. Someone's got a nasty cough. Right. What did he need again? He needed wood from the woodshed. Let me guess. It's all the way fucking back in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna suck. Do I really have to go get the fucking wood? Where is the woodshed? Don't even know where it is. Or maybe it's the things I was hiding behind. That actually would make sense. Freak. Oh, there's just... There's so many guards, man. This is not easy. This is not easy for a first proper level of a game. This is not easy in the slightest. But again, it, it seems like they... They have great vis uh, vision, unless you're in shadow. But it's it's not always easy to know if you're in shadow. Oh my fucking god, I could not have timed that better if I tried. Oh my lord. Wait, this isn't the woodshed. This isn't the woodshed. Wait. Did I not have to come back in here? We need- Oh no. I need to find where this fucking wood is. Is it close to the watchtower? I don't want it to be close to the watchtower. Ugh. Oh, that guy disappeared. Right, okay, now's, now's not the time to move, mage. Now, now we just be patient, be patient. I think what we'll do, we'll do a good old-fashioned suicide run, where we just need to find the objective so we know where it is. <sighs> My god. This is stressful. This is tense. It's like proper stealth gameplay, like, isn't it? Right, where's this? Wait. Oh, I was at the woods. What are you doing? Oh, no, no. oh. Oh, there we go. Well, there we go. I found the wood, guys. I've got wood. Don't touch me. I've got wood. Ah! Don't shoot. I've got wood. Can 
Can I just hide in the shadows here? Oh my god, they're losing their minds. Oh, no, he found me. Hey, guys. If you let me go, I'll tell you that there's a tunnel right under that box. The other chaps will probably hate me for it, though. Right, okay. Okay. So I was right. This is the wood. This is where the wood is. I just need to open it at the right time. It's all good. It's all good. Not a problem. Not a problem. You turn around. Okay. Oh, you're coming back. Why do you... They don't give you much time. They really don't. 2003 PS2 games didn't fuck around. Alright, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Open it, open it, open it, open it, open it. Yes. We have wood. We have achieved wood. Acquired wood, sorry. Not achieved. Right, now we, now we play the waiting game again. Just gonna wait for the perfect moment. Which was probably... It's probably in a second. Oh no, that dude's coming back. You can totally see us. Right. No, this is no, this is not the moment. We we wait. We wait further, M McDonald. We must be nearly done with this mission. They can't they can't need any more things for this tunnel, surely. Right. Okay. This this could be this could be good. This could be good. What? You didn't see fuck. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Can he see me? What are you doing? Oh, fuck off! I'm sorry, I'm in shadow. The other dude didn't see me. What? This is bull fuck. This is pure unadulterated dick shit. Oh, shit. I'm in shadow here. The other guy never saw me. In fact, you never saw me when you came in here. I... Okay, so from what I've learned just now is the game is going to be pretty random. Which is great. For a stealth game. I love it. I love it. Get the wood, get the wood, get the wood. Okay. I can't fucking see. going for it. I'm going for it. That's not the door. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. Right. Okay. Hopefully they don't decide to search the cabin again, like, immediately. Although, if I were German guards, that's something I would do, because they wouldn't expect you to do it so soon again. So, that, that would be a pro tip I would give German guards back then. Right. Here's your wood. I soon have the tunnel ready. Make sure you get the forged pass from Jimmy. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> right, I'll go get the pass. I'll cover up the hole, because I'm responsible. There we go. I'm I'm so glad I'm not speedrunning this game. Can you imagine? Does anyone speedrun this game? This would be a really hard one to speedrun. Alright, which way am I going? Not that way. Right. Coast is clear. Is it done? Here's your forged pass. Good luck with your escape. Thanks, pal. Yeah, it always amazed me all, all the different roles that people would have in the camp. <clears throat> it's, uh, it, it was just, I don't know. It still blows my mind how people lived through this. Keep at it. All right, are we good? I've got the pass, dude. I guess I could just go use the tunnel now. You know, people that did things so that others could escape and they stayed behind. Incredibly brave. Incredibly brave. Right, we're good. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, can I crawl? Could I have crawled somewhere else? I'm not sure it would really help me. 
That was a very short tunnel. Alright, did we do it? Did we make a great escape? Ah, I'm just gonna crawl towards this wall. Aw, oh, what? Well, that... That was worth it. A good attempt, but it would seem you have much to learn about escaping. It would appear so. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Captured. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll save. But um, that is the first mission, my friends. I hope you're going to enjoy this playthrough. It's it's absolutely going to be a complete shit show. <laughs> it really is, but I'm looking forward to, uh, to rediscovering this game. And I really, uh, I really do hope that you, uh, you enjoy this and look forward to the next one. So take care, everyone. Jolly good show. Stiff up a lip and all that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. This is Snake telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.